I'm here with Jason Smith. He is the lead engineer on Ceramic Speed's Driven project. So last year we saw this very innovative drive train system. Uh, now it moves. Can you tell us yep. how it's developed this way, why, how it moves, why it moves, and what's happened in the last year? Exactly. So quickly, last year we had a concept bike. Uh, it wasn't rideable, it wasn't shiftable, but we knew it was 99.2% efficient. So over the last 12 months, we have essentially have four breakthroughs. The biggest one is the shifting capability. We have a rideable bike, we have a bike with a contaminant com cover, and this is Specialized S-Works Venge, and we took it to the Specialized Wind Tunnel and found that it's 3% more aero than a regular drivetrain. And then we also have the driven on a full suspension mountain bike with a telescoping shaft. So that's what we've been doing over the last year. And I think you wanted to talk mostly about the shifting. So and that's, that's the biggest thing. What I have here is, um, so uh, everything happens within the shaft. This is a wireless shaft, so picture this would go right here, and you have the bearings on the pinion. And essentially, as this rotates through, let's go ahead, the outer half of the pinion will shift into the next shift channel, and it keeps rotating through, it grabs the shift channel, and then it fin finishes the shift. It's as simple as that. However, simple, but it's novel. Uh, we applied for a patent on that, and then we also applied for a patent on the shifting internals that um, we use only one motor to shift both master and slave um, together. Wow. So in a nutshell, that's how it works. Yeah. And that's now on, that's working on road bikes, on mountain bikes, on TT. Yeah, so uh, did you have to develop, is there different specifics for each system or is it the same uh, basic workings for each bike? So right now we have the shifting on the Cervelo P5 over there, but it would be the same concept, whether it's mountain bike, road, or time trial. Um, on the mountain bike, the only difference is the telescoping shaft, and um, on road bike or triathlon or time trial, it would be the same system. We do have the rideable version, and essentially, the three bikes that you see here, are they don't carry rider load. Um, they're to show the different features and functions of, of the shifting. However, with the rideable, we essentially stiffened up the drivetrain, and it's a single speed. And the next step would be to take the shifting, and then the, the load carrying capability of the rideable and put it together and then we'll have a rideable shiftable. But we're really, really close to having that done. And how many gears will it have effectively? What are you thinking? Like what will the range be? Is it in like, what are we talking yeah. here? We, li we like the 13 speed. It goes from 12 to 50. So it's almost a 500% difference. Um, like for instance, this Venge has a smaller rear cassette and it's similar to an 1128. So one of the nice things is we're not limited by numbers of gears inboard outboard because we go radially. So essentially we're only limited by um, the radius of the rear cassette. Jason, thank you for your time. Thank All you right. for talking through. Yes, thanks. thanks. See you next time.